So there should be about, what, six eggs in that hole? Anywhere from three to eight. But most commonly I'm seeing, most people are seeing like three to five eggs per nest. So three to five eggs in the driveway, of course. At least it's off to the edge a bit. She's busy trying to work that dirt down into the hole. I bet that's what Riley's been barking at with all day long. Yeah, because he's been yipping, and I come out here and look and didn't see nothing. Mm -hmm. But it said that it usually takes a turtle about eight eggs to eight, eight hours to dig, locate, dig, lay, and cover the eggs. Eight hours. So she's probably been here since early this morning, mid-morning. Though the creek is a ways away. I mean, that's a good 100, 150 feet. She had to come. Looks like frog legs. Mm -hmm. I think I need to move her silly butt up now. <sighs> you missing your dirt, girl. Not much to the hole. I just wonder about going ahead, fill the hole, save her some working time, fill the hole and go ahead and transplant her back to the woods. Yeah, but we don't know how tightly they pack the hole. I don't know either, but I mean, this area gets ran over and mowed and this know. edge doesn't see cars that much. I wonder if I transplanted her, she would just instinctively sit there and try to fill a non-existent hole. Or if I was to help help her fill the hole. Maybe yeah, if... I think she might be done. She, does, she seems to be filling it more than she seems to be asking the other one. Yep. <sighs> Give her some dirt to work with. She says, what's going on back there? <laughs> Strange things happen at the nether regions. You have some dirt, work that in. I need to transplant her as soon as she's done doing or the hole is filled. So I'm kind of wondering if I should just go ahead and fill the hole and transplant her. In the egg. After having some reservations about me being here, and there was three of us standing around, she's gone back to her activity of burying her little nest, a box turtle in the driveway, of all places, close enough to the edge that I'm hoping I can leave the eggs in place. Uh, Reading up on these critters, it'll be about three months to hatching, 80 days to three months, though it is shady here. Shouldn't have any problems with predators, seeing as we have a watchdog right there, and uh, he lives right there. That's his house. And as you see, the turtle decided to make a little nest next to his house, much to his consternation. He's not reptile friendly. Uh, they're just all evil to him. However, he's good at pointing them out when they're in the yard. Uh, we have research. It's about eight hours. 
daughter looked it up. They take about eight hours doing this. Apparently she started this morning. It's now about six o'clock, 6 p.m. It's a narrow L-shaped hole, goes down, then plunges forward. Uh, nice size eggs, some fairly big eggs. So I need to relocate her. This is not the, the soon as she's done. This is not the uh, best environment for her to be wandering around later on after she's finished. It's a long way from a water source. She is a terrestrial animal. These particular types of turtles are actually more like tortoise, dry land only. Uh, they don't. They don't live in the water, uh, though they can be found in the water. They prefer dry land, digging burrows and all that. She's been busy. It's a fairly deep hole, at least. Long, as long as her leg, easy, uh, very clumsy, uh, burying, just happenstance, uh, especially the covering. It's like more luck than anything. I've been uh, trying to speed up the process as much as I can so I can get her transplanted to a safer location. I certainly don't want to wait out here for eight hours. And if she will go ahead and gather that dirt and get that hole near full, full enough to where she'll walk away would be nice. Though I very well may just top it back off, level it out, and uh, move her to a uh, move her to a field. Actually, that's not too far from a water source. There's a field behind that building, small little field bordered by woods very close and a stream within about a hundred feet so if she wants to take the water she can though she'll probably just wander off through the woods eating what she can mostly vegetables and any insects she comes across opportunistic eater omnivore uh, mostly insects and plant matter. I kept one of these turtles in my house for a couple years. It was a baby. Uh, fed it crickets. Love the sound of the crickets at night. But when you got a hundred crickets singing in your bathroom, uh, the wife's not always happy. <laughs> but she's gotten used to the uh, critters. But it, this is a uh, First for us to find a uh, nesting tortoise in my habitat tells me I'm doing something right. This was not like this when I moved here, let me tell you. There were no trees, no bushes, nothing. It was just bare pasture land. It was naked, ugly, very bad, very bad. Much better now. Everything you see, I put in. All me, every bit, except for this fence. I did pay for that. Every last tree, bush, flower, I swear. However, it pays off in wildlife. Here's a uh, 300 foot long brush pile way down there. Runs all the way the length of my land. If you keep the bottom of the food chain happy, the top will be there. Well, she looks like she's getting closer. I can either box her in, wait till she's done, and when I see she's moved off of her nest, I will mark it, tag it. And in about 80 days, put a barrier around it and wait. Hopefully the turtles will be born. We'll see.